Okay. So would you then agree that um, the only person that the special envoy would have met was the president and um, that there was a call even from the government that uh, the special envoy should not be meeting any other person or any other organization the government of zimbabwe by any standards did not have the terms of the terms of references of uh, you know those envoys to the extent that you are aware that those were envoys special envoys sent by president Cyril ramaphosa to his counterpart president emerson mnanga were following those lies and sorts of propaganda that were being peddled against the country on social media so you know those envoys of course were supposed to come to listen from president mnanga on the government side if the mgc or any other groups in Zimbabwe felt, uh, you know, that uh, they needed to meet those envoys. Then, of course, they still have their own ways of doing that. We have not stopped anyone from meeting anybody, except that you know that, uh, you know, in the context of diplomacy, you know, envoys meet the head of state. They also meet government. And I'm sure they just did that. Those who are crying forward to say, no, the envoys did not meet us or could not meet us, you know, that is not our funeral. We did not arrange, we're not responsible for arranging meetings, you know, by, I mean, for, for the envoys anyway.